Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about Google Data Studio. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So today we are going to learn about Google Data Studio. Google Data Studio was initially made available to the users in 2016. The development of this platform is a very good example of rapid and agile development. Google Data Studio has some capabilities like data visualization, data access, data processing, communication, data exploration, and analysis. For this study, I will take the data from Kaggle and I will take the video game sales data. Okay, and it will have some different columns like rank, which is a ranking of overall sales, game name, platform, the game release, year of the game release, genre, publisher, North America sales, Europe sales, Japan sales, and other region sales and the global sales. Let us move to the Excel data directly. Now I am the Excel. Here you can find out the rank, name, platform, year, genre, publisher, North America sales, Europe sales, Japan sales, other sales, region sales data, and global sales. If we don't have Google account, by default, I'll get the screen this one, okay? Now, if I have Google account, then I will connect the Google Data Studio using that ID, okay? And by default, I get this screen. Now I'm moving to the Google Data Studio from my Gmail account. Now I am in Google Data Studio. By default, it will have this report layout. Like these are all the some tutorial reports from Google itself and you will get the blank report option and here is another button create button this button and this button both are same okay now I can if I click on this create button I can find out report data source and explorer okay other than this create button it will have shared with me owned by me and trust button now I'm clicking on this create data source here you can find out all the Google connectors for this data source. We have these 18 Google connectors right now. Google Analytics and this file upload is all only for the CSV file. If I moving down, I can find out partner connectors like Facebook, all other Adobe Analytics and different type of third party connectors we have okay now i'm selecting file upload by default if you first time when you are logging to the google data studio if i click on this csv file and file upload you will you may get some permission link as i already connected with google data studio so i'm not getting that permission link option okay because already i have authorized that now I'm select click on upload file, video game data, open. It will take a little bit time to upload the data. And it's processing and finally it is uploaded. Okay. Now I'm clicking on this connect button. Now uh, I am here in the edit area where I can observe all the fields, whatever is available in my Excel file, it's available here. The data type, default aggregation. You can observe EU cells, it's a number field and by default it is taking sum. Whereas genre, it's a text field, so by default no aggregation. If I go to the rank value, here I can find out it's a number field. So by default, it is taking the summation as an aggregation, but I will select as none. Okay. Here is also year. By default, it is taking the year value. Here you can find out one default matrix has been created. That is record count. Okay. Now you can observe add a field button is there add a parameter button is there add a parameter is nothing but the parameter value 
like if I want to add any parameter in this data set and add a field is like we can create some calculated field maybe for example if I have some profit and sales data I can create some revenue calculation calculated field there so like this I can add any new field also you can observe create report button and explore button let us know why there are two buttons okay. we want to understand why the create report and explore button are there so if I click on this create report or explore button there I can find out the similar kind of layout will be available but unlike these reports everything created in the explorer is a temporary nature when I create any report by default Google will save that but if I click on this explore button and the temporary report will not be saved okay that will be in a temporary explorer simply act as a place for brainstorming and testing and allowing users to dive into the data before having to worry about any report formatting so there will not have any report formatting by default I'll take some fields and I'll find out how the reports will be going to be look like if users wish to retain the work they will need to manually save the explorer seed if we wish to share our work with others we can export our exploration to a report now I am in again in Google Data Studio I am clicking on this create report button so this is our edit report layout okay by default it will create one report it will have some one dimension value and the measure value already we know the record count has been created automatically so it will display one default report now we have this menu bar like file edit view insert page arrange resource help all this button and we have this toolbar which will help us to create a report here we have add a page button so this is my page one under this report I want to create another page under this report how will I create that if I click on this my another page is created now I am going back to page one okay now if I click on this three button you can rename this duplicate or hide page in the view mode or remove this similarly I am going back to the page one Okay. now I am in page one this is our undo redo option this is a selection mode because I am in the selection mode I can select anything here from here this is add data add data is nothing but the another data source I can connect to this report already I have one data source I can connect to another data source okay closing this here we have add a chart you can find out table view is also considering as a chart in Google Data Studio scorecard this is the card view time series bar pie Google map geo chart line line bar graph area scatter plot pivot table bullet and tree map all this some handy chart will be available here <clears throat> this is a community visualization if you here you can find out community visualization and components this is a third party visualization area here I can click on this and I can connect to any third party provide data visualization provider here is a button add a control Add a control what is that it's a drop down list I can add some drop down list here fix size list input box advanced filter slider checkbox date range control and data control okay we can explore it later in our different course this is a URL embed I can embed any URL here okay for example if I click on this you can find out I can add some external content URL here that will be displayed within this our report this is an image 
I can add any image, upload from my computer or from the URL. This is a text box. Like this text box, I can add some comments, I can add some uh, header file in this report section. This is a line. Line is nothing but some line, arrow, elbow connector, some curve connector, which I will need to within this report format. And this is a save button where I can rectangle circle. Also, this is a theme and layout. By default, if I click on this, you can observe the theme layout section is not there. Now you can click on this theme and layout. Like by default, I can select one theme. For example, if I click on this, you can observe the theme has been changed. Okay, let us select one theme, maybe this one. And now I will create one sample report and I'll show you how we can create that. I will just move this report from here. Okay. Now I can select, for example, one bar chart. So by the way, automatically it will select some dimension and measure. So don't worry about that. We can very well change those things. If I go to this, here we have some data section and style section. Style is nothing but the formatting. And data is, we can add data source, date range dimension, dimension, drill down, met our measures, shorting information, filter, all this. Now if I go to the style section, we can find out here, bar will be like vertical bar, horizontal bar, how many records should be displayed in a bar, whether it should have the data level or not, what will be the colors, add a reference line, so all these axes, left y axis, so this is the x axis information, this is the grid information, all the background color of this grid, this background and border, the legend data we can format, and this chart header, <clears throat> everything. Now I'm moving back to the data section. I have name field is here, okay? But let me put some meaningful information. Platform as a dimension and Global sales. I'm removing this record count. I need the day report for this global sales. Okay, it is there. You can find out the sorting is on the record count by, but I need the sorting based on this global sales. I'm removing this one. And if I click on this area and I can select global sales. Now we can observe by default it will have the 10 records. So this is the top 10 platforms according to the global sales. If I go to the style section, show access ti title, I can find out global sales platform. For example, if I want to change the background color like this, I can change that. If you want to hide this legend, you can hide that legend. You need to click here and legend will be. Now one thing is a chart header. Here you can observe, show on hover, always show and do not show. So we cannot observe any chart header. If I click on this always show, still you will not get any chart header, okay? You need to add some text box in this area. I'm adding one chart. So I'm giving this as a chart title. Let us view this. You can observe this button will be available. If I select this, always show in the chart header. 
okay now again i'm moving back to the edit option <coughs> so like this you can create one report some more things i will tell you here we have share button if i click on this by default you can invite some people for example if i click on this here you can provide some email address and by default they will get the report another one schedule email delivery you can schedule it okay you can specific to any page number also you can give get report link you can get the link from for this report embed report enable this input and you can copy it to other for other purpose you can use that and you can download this report so this is a basic idea of this google data studio so today we learn about google data studio in my next video we will do some case study using google data studio if you like this video please like comment and subscribe my channel thanks for watching